Firstly, coach, well yes. done on the three points. Um, you can start by giving your thoughts on the game and then we'll go into questions. Um, yeah, obviously going into the final game of the season, it's, it's always a bit of a nervy occasion. You know, you want to be finishing in the position that you are. Um, obviously, there's a lot of teams around the country that are also wanting that same objective uh, and exactly what TS Galaxy came to do. Um, so it was a big game, an important game in terms of what it meant for, for our club to again, you know, finish in a sort of a top six position. So uh, it didn't make for the like, I, you know, there were certain times that the game became a bit of a sort of scrap and a bit of a fight. But I felt that the first half we played really well. Um, the way we moved the ball, the way we controlled the game, we limited them. I don't think they had a corner in the first half. I think we, we asked the questions um, and uh, I thought it was a really mature first half uh, performance. The only time we looked a bit vulnerable, which was a message at half time, is when maybe we made a mistake or just maybe overplayed it at the back. Um, but I thought that it was a good performance uh, first half, second half. Obviously, they come out, got the early equaliser, which you know sort of made it a little bit... Uh, even more difficult, they had nothing to lose. Obviously, they had to come in, you know, they had to win the game to give themselves any chance. So, um, but yeah, I felt that we still handled it well enough. We probably, you know, on transition moments, we could have maybe done a bit better, a bit better decision making to just maybe kill the game off and get the second. Um, but we weren't able to do and then it became sort of a, a defensive sort of situation where we had to see the game out. They started playing it a lot longer and more direct. Um, but I felt that we dealt with it um, well enough that uh, we deserved, in my opinion, uh, the win. Um, and yeah, it caps off for me uh, a really good season. Coach, first up, we saw, I saw glimpses of uh, Lovrock in the studying of the second half. Was the case of coming into the game, the mentality, we don't want to lose or yeah, I disagree with you. Um, I don't think we played a low block. I thought we just controlled the game really well, moved the ball. And we were the ones that were, you know, keeping possession and asking them the questions. They they basically uh, only really won the ball in the, in the middle third when we sometimes try to play centrally and uh, they had a couple of numbers. So there was no way we were low blocking the game. We knew that we had to get a result. Um, obviously, when you don't have the ball, um, we do get our structure and we do get behind the ball. But um, yeah, I just thought first half especially was we were in control of the match. Hi coach, um, I just want to ask, um, Mendy, it has been very involved throughout the whole season and he's been a marquee player in the midfield and creating spaces. And we saw the PSL nominees this week and he was nowhere. What's your take on that? <laughs> no, it's an absolute uh, I don't know, tragedy for me. I mean, his numbers are far better. Then some of the other nominated players, he's in the top sort of five or six for, for many things, even defensively action. So, um, you know, he's, he's got more goals and assists than the, both players put together, more tackles than both players. Uh, I'm not talking about the goalkeeper now, but the others. So he deserved to have got a nomination. There's no doubt in my mind that um, he should have been one of the three. So, but, um, you know, he's, he's important to us. Again, he showed his class today real good quality header to get us the winner. Um, his goal involvements this season uh, have been really good, not only scoring but assisting. Um, so yeah, disappointed for him but happy that uh, you know he's our player and that uh, he will continue to uh, bring those numbers forth. Yeah. Coach, uh, I think we spoke already, I think last week or week before about how the season went for you, it would have been better if you had gone on to be in the final as an example of the net banker but looking overall now looking forward to next season even without giving away names or whatever what do you feel is the the, the areas that you need to improve to take that extra step now to get to the final to have chips and beat them to go to the next step and finish high on the road yeah look i do think uh, there's a couple of areas that we can you know, look a little bit more in sort of depth and uh, in, in sort of quality. Obviously, this this whole season we didn't really have full cover for you know a player like uh, Dino Van Rooyen. Um, Carl Jurgens on occasion stepped in and done a really good job, but you know he's ultimately more of a midfielder. Um, and yeah, I do believe maybe another attacking option uh, will also help us uh, in terms of going forward. So there's not much that we're looking for this season, but um, you know there are one or two key areas that we want to. Uh, solidify and just improve our quality of depth. Uh, 
Coach, um, going into it, obviously there has been rumours that um, Stelis signed a goalkeeper, Masuluku. Is there any truth in that um, from your end? Um, okay. Yeah. Um, and also, what does that mean to the current uh, goalkeeping um, department? Yeah, look, I think it's, it's, it's again a situation, uh, it is true, yes. Um, it's again just ensuring that uh, we have good progression in years to come. Um, you know, Lee Langefeld is a superb goalkeeper. He, he remains a superb goalkeeper. You know, again, he showed today. Um, but he is, you know, getting sort of older and uh, will stay with the club going beyond the season and the next uh, in, in a different type of capacity. So it's just long term planning and uh, it's always good to have the depth, especially in the goalkeeping department. Um, so that's hence the, the decision. Yeah, you can. Okay, thanks. Was any um, contract negotiations in terms of releasing the players? Is there any anyone who has come and knocked at your door for no. you can get from and get? Uh, no. Are they gonna stay with, stay with you? Still you media reports. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not easy to say, but yeah, nothing has nothing has been sent or formalized or anything. So. As I said before, our aim is to keep our best players. We also want to progress as a club. You know, we. A penalty shootout away from a semi-final of MTN, a penalty shootout away from a final of the Netbank, six in the league. Um, you know, it's time for us to, it was a new cycle that we went into. We released a lot of experience, quality players, end of last season. Um, and the plan has always been that this next three year cycle is, is to maintain our sort of squad um, and that we can then push on further. Last question. Yeah. Just from the point of view, personally, as a coach, what has been difficult for you, especially this season, in terms of coaching and man management? I'm asking this question because you lost a player to that. Um, but mixed fortunes, you ended up in the semi-finals. Now we are in the top eight. Mm. What was best for you this season, personally? Uh, it was an emotional season, uh, obviously, for for the reasons that you stated, um, not only uh, in Oshwin's passing, but uh, many other players had personal tragedies this season. So, you know, when you have a season where you go eight, nine games without winning a game and you find yourself bottom, you know, second bottom on the log table, 2 nil down against Cape Town City, you know, you, you just felt that there's, you know, a bit of dis despair. But we came back, beat Cape Town City, and I think the second half of the season since February onwards, we probably one of the most consistent teams uh, been in the league, um, so yeah, it's been a roller coaster uh, season in terms of emotions. Uh, you know, playing really well, going through a difficult patch. Um, so yeah, in the end of the day, you know, you have people around you, fellow coaches, staff that are there to support me, um, and we support each other. So I think as a club, we've we've grown together as a unit, together as a family. Uh, we've shown that we can come through difficult times, and we've also shown that uh, we can you know, compete uh, and being competitive at the highest level.